and I crossed that one on foot. And when I went across and got to the Mexican side, the, uh, the border security agents really hardly did anything. Uh, they made you put your luggage through, um, a scanner to just make sure there was no weaponry being carried across the border. And after that, they didn't even want to see my passport. They didn't even take it, didn't stamp it, didn't ask me why I was in the country. None of those traditional customs questions that you get harassed with, okay? Uh, they they just waved me right through. I was like, do you even want to see this and show them the passport? They're like, no, just go right through, you know? So it, it was like totally hardly any, uh, you know, um, uh, harassment or uh, tightening of border security going into Mexico at all. It was painless. Went to Nuevo Laredo, uh, got my next bus connections and was on my way. I was fine. Um, coming back was an utter disgrace. And this is what I, one of the think, topics I want to get into before I go into some of the things that I presented. But folks, this country is getting worse and worse and worse and worse when it comes to police state measures. The people here who do a job that think that they're involved in some kind of security are utter fucking garbage. You are utter fucking immoral garbage. I, I don't, I don't know how else it could be said. I, you should be so embarrassed and ashamed for yourself. Your parents should be so fucking embarrassed that they are the kind of trash that they are and that they raise the kind of fucking immoral trash that you are. That's all I have to say. That's, I mean, that's all I have to say to the people that think that they're protecting or providing any security for people here. You are immoral fucking garbage. Okay. You are dirty Nazis and you are dirty fucking communists. It doesn't matter what side of the left or right paradigm you think you're on. You are totalitarian fucking scumbags. Okay. And I, I, I would say it right to your face, but strip away your nonsense of being part of some gang. And then I'll say it right to your face, man to man, little boy. Sorry, there would only be one man in that equation and that would be me. You're a little fucking piece of trash boy whose mommy and daddy didn't pay enough attention to them when you were a little boy, boy. Okay? So coming back into this country was like uh, Nazi, worse than Nazi Germany. I guarantee you the German citizens of the Third Reich did not go through anything like this. The actual German citizenry. Okay? Because... They treated people worse than cattle. Barking orders. Now, at the border, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't that bad. I should say that. The actual customs agents at the border, not that, not that bad. Similar to the Mexico situation where they, they scanned your bags, took, they did stamp the passport. They didn't even ask any questions coming back in. But then after that, there is a there are security checkpoints that are set up by US Border Patrol. And these are the trash that I'm talking about. This is the total fucking trash I'm talking about, okay? And I'm just going to use plain street language to describe these pieces of shit scum, okay? Because that's what they are. And you are destroying America. You're destroying America. You're destroying America. And you're selling your children into slavery, you pieces of trash. That's what you're doing. You're selling your children into fucking slavery, you pieces of scum, all right? And anybody that thinks that you're doing anything worthwhile, that thinks you're doing anything so-called moral or to protect people or to provide security, you, they're dumb pieces of dirt just like you. All right? I'm, I'm not going to mince words. I don't give a shit who agrees with me or disagrees with me. It's because most people sit sheltered at home watching their imbecile TV don't pay attention to anything that's going on in this damn world and think they have some informed opinion when they have a brain full of liquid diarrhea. Okay. That's really what they have, you know, and they deserve a smack in the face, but unfortunately shit splatters. You know what I'm talking about people? You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what it really is. That's how dumb people in this country are and how ill-informed and uneducated they are. And they're a disgrace, a disgrace to what it means to actually, supposed to mean to actually be American. 
You're un-American pieces of fucking sewage. All right? So, treating people like cattle, making them literally get off the, f- the bus, line up, separate from your luggage, taking your luggage off the bus, line up, put your luggage in of all in a line, stand behind it, have dogs sniffing all through everything, you know, going into the bus where people were sitting, sniffing through all the seats and where all the luggage compartments were, you know, under gunpoint. When they already, big men, you're big, you're such big, courageous men, aren't you? You little filthy pieces of trash, boy, little, little baby boys is what you are. All tough because everybody else is already disarmed. You're so tough, such tough guys. You're low life, little wusses is what you are. Low life, little wusses. You'd get cleaned up. You'd get your ass handed to you in any confrontation with any real man in two seconds, boy. That's what would happen to you, son. Okay? You know, take off your cult outfit that other jerk-offs believe in and then face any real man. And you'll get put down and put in the ground, son. That's what would happen to you. All right? You're trash and your parents are fucking trash. That's what you are. That's all you are. That's all people who believe in your bullshit are. Okay? So, people didn't think it was going to go like this on this show, did they? Because I'm fired up from that. All right? I'm back. I'm glad to be back in this country. Because I I don't really want to travel anymore, folks. The the experience that I went through on the way back into this country, not leaving it, coming back into this country, makes me so embarrassed to have to say I'm even a citizen of this area of the world, that I'm a citizen of this country. Whether you want to talk about what that means to be, quote, a citizen. I'm not talking about the legal definition. talking about that I live here and this is the kind of trash that the people of this country breed. That's what I'm talking about. That I'm embarrassed to say that I'm from here. And I'm embarrassed that other people think this is what's necessary and required to be in place in this area, in the, uh, of this geographic region of the world. You are utter garbage, garbage. Okay. Get as offended about that as you want. I, I couldn't give a shit. All right. So that's the, the, what the U S border patrol does. They're just as big of pieces of trash as the U S park services, as all the police of this country are. Cause you're authoritarian garbage, you're authoritarian garbage, you're authoritarian garbage. And the people who think what you're doing is in any way moral is just as much garbage and you're complicit with totalitarian, you pieces of trash. And the problem is not enough people are teaching actual morality to people. Not enough people are even bringing up the philosophical issue of morality and what it really is to do wrong to somebody else. You have no right to do any of the things that you're doing. None. You just believe that you do because you're a little crap boy. You're a little piece of crap boy who was raised by a little piece of crap mother and a little garbage piece of crap father that think you have these rights when you have no such rights, boy. Okay? That's what you are. And it's it's bad parenting. It all comes down to bad parenting, folks. It all comes down to that every time. Trash, immoral trash will beget immoral trash. And that's what we have in this country. We have a bunch of little children who are immoral trash, then becoming parents and breeding more immoral trash. That's what we have in the United States of America and throughout the world. You know, folks, it really doesn't matter where you go. You know, one thing in all my travels and all the travels that I've ever done, wherever I've gone in the world, it's the same consciousness. There is no difference no matter where you go. And as a matter of fact, believe it or not, the, the heart of America, the actual people who live here are probably the most conscious people on earth 
as sad as that is to say, with the dumb bags of shit walking around here. Okay. But I'll tell you what, it's probably even more conscious, conscious than any other country on the face of the earth. And that kills my heart to even have to say that. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter where you go. It does not matter where you go. It is the same immoral garbage, the same worship of the cult of the state, no matter where you go. Doesn't matter. They have almost everybody's souls. They not only have their minds, they have their souls. Okay? It's bad. It's really bad. And that's what this show is about. I'm trying to tell my listening audience, you're not getting the word out well enough because this is still how it is. And there's millions and millions of people waiting in line to do these fucking jobs. Okay? So let's gauge that as our effectiveness. How effective have we been? We're a piss in a pot. That's what we are. Okay? That's, that's how effective getting the message of real morality out to the world has been. I, I have to just say it like that. Because if I didn't, I'd be lying to myself and you. And I'm telling you, that's where we're at. 